guys i am back with another video like i promised you guys and today is the long awaited bbl and boot job video and um i had wrote notes down in my phone about this before i started recording but then i realized i record on my phone so you know that was kind of pointless but we're gonna try our best to just go off the top of our head and I'm going to tell y'all my experience and basically what it was like. And I'll be inserting clips from vlogging because I tried to record. And uh, disclaimer, I look very bad in those clips. I probably don't look like I look now. Y'all probably like, damn, it's the same person. Yes, yeah, the same person. I was going through it. I did not care how it looked. I was going there to get surgery, not going there for a fast show. So just, yeah. But anyway, so let's just get right into the video. Okay, so boom. First, it started off, um, I think I put my deposit in for my surgery in November because I had moved into my apartment and I moved into my apartment in December. So, I put in my deposit and it was a $250 deposit. And um, we can just start off with the cost. Um, for my boobs, I got a breast augmentation with implants and it was 4,500. And then I also got a BBL as well. And that was 6,000. So in all, it was 10.5K. Um, they had the option to do like pay over time. Like you could just make little payments weekly, monthly, however you wanted to do it. But um, I just chose like, it was like that last month before my surgery. So like, no, it was March. Because my daughter's birthday was in April. So, March, I went ahead and I paid the whole balance because you had to pay, have it pay like three weeks before your surgery. So, I went ahead and I paid the balance off for my surgery. So, that was good. Um, when it came to housing, I stayed at a place called Angelis. Angelis. I stayed there, it was $175 a night times, I stayed there six nights, so y'all can do the math for that, I'm not really sure. I know it was over a thousand, a little over a thousand, maybe like a thousand and fifty, something like that. And that included transportation from the airport back to the airport to your, uh, to your pre-op, to your post-op, and on surgery day. So that was all included, oh, and then you got breakfast lunch and dinner but anyway so that was that and then there were like side fees of a garment my garment was like a hundred dollars and my boob my my bra that was like thirty dollars and then my phones and my pads i already had that because I knew it would be more expensive there than if I just ordered off Amazon. So I went ahead and I had it off Amazon. I had my my boards, my compression phones, and I have my socks and my robe already that I have bought ahead of time. And it's raining really bad outside. So if y'all can hear that, I'm sorry. But anyways, um, yeah, so I had that. And what else? Transportation to and from Miami, Florida. I think it was all it was like a total of like four hundred dollars for a round trip. I didn't get nothing special with that. Um so I don't know. I would definitely recommend though if you get this surgery or if you get any type of surgery, don't plan for just the actual surgery cost. You need to plan for the transportation, your stay, um flights. Anything like that, you need to have that money as well. Because if you go there with the 10k and think, oh, I'm gonna be good, you're not. Um, you're already well. You're already gonna have to pay. Well, no, for my housing, it was only a deposit of like 200. Um, but you had to pay the rest when you got there. So basically, I would just re recommend you have at least three thousand dollars extra over whatever the total of your surgery is. Because if not you're going to be looking dumb because you're not going to be able to have everything that you need. So in all, I'd say about like 13, 14,000 is like what I spent 
for all of this. So anyways, we're gonna start. When I first arrived there, I got there, I think it was May 6th or May 8th. I don't, don't tell me why I don't know what day. I don't, I just know it was like a Thursday. I went on a Thursday, but I'm pretty sure it was May 6th. Okay, you guys, I am out here waiting for my recovery home to pick me up. It's so nice out here. It's really hot though, like really hot. I got on a jacket, like I'm really dressed like I'm not from here. But that's fine though, because I was gonna dress up to get surgery anyway. Like the whole time y'all see me here, y'all gonna be like, oh, she ain't gonna fuck me. Because I really didn't, like I didn't. I'm here to get my body done. But I kinda, I'm kinda sad because I don't have anything today to do today besides my post op and I could've went to the mall. But I'm not going like this, like, maybe if I did my hair a little bit, but, like, I have on pink clocks with the white socks, like, it's just not, it's not happening, so, yeah, you guys, I'm waiting, got my little bag, um, I'm not nervous for my post op, I'm excited, ready to see what it's like in here, it says the place is like 18 minutes away. So, as long as I get there by two, that's all that matters. But, yeah. Ready to go get marked up. I got on leggings. I don't know if I was allowed to wear that to the pre-op. But, or, yeah. I don't know. But, I got them on. So, it is what it is. Oh my god, I look so bad right now. Like, I don't think so. Not in the next clip. Because, I'm not going to the room, but later, I'll fix it. I went to my pre-op. Currently walking to my pre-op. Um, yeah. I got a mask on, so that kind of helps with how bad I look. But anyways, all right, I'll update you when I get in here. I'm back, you guys. I'm filling out paperwork. You know the vibes. And yeah, y'all. But they talking about they didn't have okay, so I'm getting two surgeries. I'm getting a BBO and a breast augmentation. They talking about did I have my breast augmentation noted? And I specifically called and checked and I had a fucking boob scan, all that done. So they better get that right. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah. Anyways, I'm waiting for the girl to come back. So I'll update you guys once I get in the room and get everything scanned and figured out. I think I'll see the doctor today because she said if I get the boobs, then I see the doctor. So hopefully I get two so I can show him my little wish pics in my folder. And yeah, because like, I don't know. What? But anyways, yeah, y'all. I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to sign all this stuff. It's actually not that bad though. Most of the stuff is like highlighted on what I'm supposed to get. And so it's not like everything I'm signing has to be for getting, you know? It's like everything on the paper doesn't have to be signed. That's good because if I did, like y'all, I would be here all day. All day. And I'm holding the camera over weird because I'm trying to film with my non dominant hand and write with my dominant one. So whatever. I look bad anyway, so it really doesn't matter. I really don't care. But yeah, so keep y'all updated. Surgery and a new booty and a new body coming tomorrow, period. And when I went to there, they had me filling out this big, thick packet of paperwork for my boobs and my butt. Like when I tell you I signed my name on so much stuff, I really could have signed my life away and I wouldn't even know it. But you know. But anyways um i had to fill out a whole bunch of paperwork and then she came in there my coordinator came in there talked to me a little bit 
and basically just told me the process she gave me a paper for my boobs and my butt because it was two separate healing processes so i had to know you feel me like what to do for each so after that they helped me go back into a room and it was a little cold room and i went in there and they took pictures of me naked see like my before you know my body shout to my doctor i guess stuff like that i had already sent in that information like pictures of my body before but i guess they still needed it so yeah that was that and then after i left there it was in the same building i went over to the garment store and that's where i bought my bra and i bought my um my body garments i went ahead and i bought that the day before because you have to do that anyway so the bra it was like 30 dollars, and then the faha it was like 100 so and everything else i had already with me now that i think about it i will i might it depends i might do a video on what you need for surgery because that's how i figured out what i needed i just watched somebody's video on youtube and oh my god stuttering i can't lie they lie they lie a lot like these videos or maybe that's personally what they needed but what i needed was not all that like i bought more than what i needed like i did pretty good with limiting it because they were they were really doing a lot and i narrowed that stuff down already i made my own list and what i narrowed it down to was still a little bit more than i needed but you know whatever i might do a video on that or i might link a video but anyways when we got to the house um i walked in there and the lady she greeted me i really forgot her name but she was real sweet i liked her um but the first thing i did notice it was cold i didn't like that because i don't really like i don't like to be hot when i sleep but i don't like to be freezing cold and that's the type of cold where you got to be wrapped up under the blanket and your mouth like a feet is still cold so i ain't yeah i didn't really like that part yeah, I had two other roommates in my room, and then I had a bed. My bed was kind of to the side, like against the wall, so I didn't have to be beside them because they were, like, lined up, and then it was, like, me right here. So I liked that part because, you know, yeah. And then in our room, we had a bathroom and had a shower and then, of course, the bathroom. I mean, the bath, the toilet, and the sink. Hey, guys, I'm back. Um, Just left my pre off. Well, I left my pre off, like, an hour ago but we just got here we had to pick up a girl who got a surgery who's staying in the same place as me and y'all i've watched youtube videos out that literally for like months like i've been watching for months because i knew it was coming and i'm like you know i've been watching boob and freaking butt videos and the way she was reacting and that shit got me kind of scared. I ain't even gonna lie. Because I ain't been scared. I don't get scared with stuff. Even when I have my baby, like, I don't be scared. I just be like, fuck it, like, it is what it is. I'm waiting. I'm excited. That kind of thing. But, y'all, I was scared. Like, the way she was acting, I was like, I was on the phone with my baby daddy. I was like, listen, first of all, if I'm be acting like that, just go ahead. Go ahead, put me in the ground. I don't even know. Like, anyways, y'all. But, um,. I shouldn't record it like this. My arm hurt. But let me think. Oh, I got my Vaha and I got my bra. And I paid. I paid for my stay here. And I paid for the rest of the stuff that I owe the doctor. Not like surgery costs because you have to pay all of that two weeks before your surgery day. So that was already covered. But, um... Yeah, so I just got here. We're about to eat dinner. We're eating some chicken and something. I hope it's good because I'm hungry. Like, I'm so hungry. I haven't ate since 6 o'clock. And this is probably my last meal before my surgery. So, like, I'm hungry. I'm going to be, I, I don't, I need to make my own plate. Like, that's how hungry I am. I don't need no little portions. Nothing like that, y'all. I am so hungry, bro. And I didn't bring no snacks. And the legit, the drinks I had the um, airport lady threw them away like whatever so and it was my healing drinks too like pineapple juice and all that so i guess i'll be drinking water i don't know but um i haven't really got to see much of the area um i kind of thought about going out today but that's not happening like i don't feel like i'm not going out there's nothing for me to do out there but 
um yeah tomorrow is my surgery i'll come back and tell y'all what time it is because i don't know yet they're supposed to call me at five and i think it's five now but i still haven't gotten a call so i don't know what they're waiting on but they didn't let me know so i can know like you know, I don't know. I just need a plan. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to wake up. Like, stuff like that. So, I can get excited. Because, I mean, I'm still excited. I don't care. And when I got here, the lady was like, how, because I'm so young, um, which I'm 20, she was like, um, I'm going to need the IV because, like, I'm not going to be able to handle the pain. And it's just like, I got a really high pain tolerance. So, and I had a baby. So, I don't know. I don't really know. Like, maybe... I'm gonna just take the medicine and like if I can't handle it, then I'll get the IV. But I don't know. I at least wanna give myself a chance. Like now I feel like I got a point to prove. Like now, now I can't even act like it hurt. Like I'm gonna be up in here like the fuck? What are we doing tonight? Like for real, because I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> so yeah, y'all. Um other than that, I can't think of anything else. She gave me the paper telling me what I can't do for the boobs and the booty wise. So I gotta reread that because I really don't remember what it said. But pre op was fine. Um, first, I went in there and um, like talked to the doctors. I had to take my pictures of my body and I signed a whole bunch of paperwork. When I say a whole bunch of paperwork, I'm just glad all I had to do on most pages was like like sign it, like the little signature or like a check. Because if I had to fill out everything that was on each paper, I probably wouldn't have still been home. Like I probably would have had to stay the night up in the doctor. That's how much paperwork it was, like all just the size. So I look so bad, y'all. I can't wait to pop out with the body yaddy yaddy. Oh, let me show y'all my body now. So this is kind of embarrassing, but I've gained weight for this. But, okay, it don't look bad, honestly. It don't look bad. But this is my stomach, but... <laughs> this is my stomach from the side. And I have no ass, so we're not even going to get into that. But y'all see. Y'all see it. It's giving very much three months. Three, maybe four. Maybe four. Who knows? But I'm small, as y'all can see. Um, so, I don't know. I just feel like, even though I'm small, I want to shave. Like, I want to shave. Like, I don't care. I don't feel like I need to be big and fat to get my body done. Like, well, I can't be small with that body. Like, and my boobs, my boobs are fine. But, you know, I was just like, fuck it. I probably get them later on long than I anyway, so just went ahead and got them done too. I really like the way the girl in the car was acting, it makes me think like me, my boob, and my butt, and I'm small. Should I go ahead and nail me to the cross? Like she got me thinking. I mean it ain't nothing I can do now. I just gotta take it. Like that's really how I feel. That's why I said I kinda feel like I don't need the ID because it's just like if you didn't have the IV the fuck was what am i gonna do exactly i'm gonna have to take the pain so we're gonna see i'm feeling like i'm gonna just take the pain i feel like i got a high pain tolerance i would like i don't know i just feel like i got a high pain um high pain tolerance that's never really been a problem with me like i'm not tender headed none of that so we're gonna see but yeah y'all next time y'all see me i'm gonna be a shape I'm gonna look like Jada Wada. Like, the fuck? <laughs> oh, let me show you up in the back. In the back, I got black leggings, but just know it ain't shit back there. It ain't not a goddamn thing. So, but I don't give a fuck though. Because, baby, that's finna change. And it's been 24 hours. So, yep. Hopefully, next time I get on the camera, if I don't tell y'all when my surgery time is, because it ain't really nothing to talk about. Um, oh, oh yeah, um, but hopefully, yeah, next time I get on the camera, I look better, like, maybe I'll do a bun tomorrow, I don't know, something simple, but, yeah, so, that's basically it, oh, after the pre-op, the second thing I did was, 
I went in there and I set up my massages and I got my garments. So, yep. So, I'll be sure to come back and update you guys if anything else happens. If not, I will see you guys tomorrow for my surgery. Bye. So, yeah. First night, I laid all my stuff out on the bed. I just wanted to come back to show you guys my meal. Chicken, rice, and some other stuff. I don't really know what it is. And then, this is my garment. I got a medium. And then, and this is my surgical bra. So, kind of like preparing, you know, like the first day of school, I had it laid on the end of the bed. And you're not supposed to eat like eight hours before your surgery. So, I didn't eat after when it was like eight. It was like eight or ten. I'm not 100% sure. But I know that I had to remind myself to stop eating. Because me and this girl went to Walmart. Mind y'all, Walmart in Miami, y'all, whatever y'all bring, bring it with you. Because, like, literally, it was so bad. It was so bad. Like, negative 10 out of 10 for Walmart in Miami, Florida. But anyways, and somebody had been right there before. In the store. While it was open. But, yeah. Found, found that out later like after we left but anyway so went back home and um we have to take a shower that morning so i didn't take a shower that night but anyway so woke up had my dial soap took a shower um you know whatever and then like dial soap leaves your body feeling dry as fuck like if you use dial soap for something else besides this like i don't know what to tell you but um yeah and as i'm talking i'm gonna be inserting clips just from me vlogging because i did try my best in vlog and y'all are gonna be like who the fuck is that in these clips like i'm sorry i know i look bad i was going there for surgery not for a fashion show so i look nothing like how i look right now but anyway so yeah all right you guys so i'm currently on the way to surgery it's 7.32 and yeah. Um, I started it until 11.30 though. I'm just going right now to get sides and stuff like that. So I'll be back when I get there. Yeah, I woke up that morning, took my shower. Me and this other girl, we had surgery around the same time. Hers was at a different place, but they just took us together and they dropped me off first because my surgery was before hers. So um, we left. I went in my robe, my slippers, my compression socks. Um, have my hair up in a bud. The day before because my post-op i mean my pre-op was so late in the afternoon i didn't have time to meet with the doctor so the day before my surgery y'all that was lightning the day before my surgery i didn't get to meet with the doctor but they were like before you have it we will make sure that you know you get to meet with him because i had made a whole packet like i had a whole wish pics all that and he needed to see that he needed to know what he was doing because i wasn't just your regular girl you know like I had a look that I wanted. Okay, you guys. Um, I got the hat. I thought I would come back looking better, but I didn't. I'm here. You know, just walking around right now. I'm here to get my boob size. Um, cause I didn't get to do it yesterday, cause I came late. So we're gonna do that today, and then. I'm gonna do that today and then my surgery I said in the car is at 11 30 so I will be doing whatever till 11 30 yeah I'm on the elevator I don't even know what floor I'm going to for being honest I don't know if it's the same floor as I was on yesterday but that's where we're going so 
nervous, but I'm not nervous. Um, I feel like it is what it is. I wanted a fat ass. I guess I didn't get a fat ass. So I don't know where to go. Damn, I'm looking stupid. But all right, y'all. So hopefully I can record when they do my measurements and stuff like that. If not, then I will be back after surgery. Yeah. So when I got there, the I don't know i was waiting there for a little minute made little friends in the waiting room you know people was telling some people were there for their massages so you know i really got a perspective from everybody so anyways um they called me back there to meet with the doctor and um i'm lying they called me back there first and i put on my outfit i put on like the little you know the little surgical robe that's open in the back and i did a urine test and I got all that out the way. Everything was good. All right, you guys. I'm in here. I'm about to get my blood work. Um, just filled out papers. It's about 8.20. And, yeah, I think they're going to come back in here and get, like, blood work or whatever. Drug tests, pregnancy tests, all that. So. I'm a little bit nervous now. I'm not going to lie. I'm more excited than nervous, so I just want a fat ass. I just want a fat ass. That's it. That's it. That's all. I do what I gotta do. So, yeah, y'all. Oh, and in case you were wondering, my BMI is 20.5, um, 5.5, 5, and I currently weigh 125 pounds, and I'm 20. All right, so I'm back and I just met with the doctor. Um, he's thinking for the boobs that I go like 420 because like, I don't know, I guess cause I had a baby, I have a lot of skin, but I really don't want to go like, I don't want big ass titties. Like that's just, that's just not even really what I want. I don't even know if I really want the boobs. It's just, I kind of just got them, so. I'm saying that you know that's kind of scaring me. It's kind of, I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of scaring me. But um, and then for the butt, he was like, "You gonna do the best you could." So I mean, I'm not expecting a fat ass, but I'm hoping for one. But um, I'm laying down. But um, yeah, I'm about to take me a nap now. My surgery is not until 11:30. And it's like 10 and I'm tired. I'm hungry and I can't just sit here and be tired and hungry and cold. So I'm going to go to sleep. All right, y'all. I know I look stupid, but my gown ripped. So I had to do what I had to do. But it's about that time. It's about that time, y'all. Y'all see? Y'all, they had to come out there and get me while my ass is asleep. Oh, but I said I was going to sleep. But I didn't know I was gonna be sleeping that good. All I woke up to. She was she was shaking me, trying to wake me up. I was like, like I don't know where I thought I was at, but I just looked at her. I was like, but then, you know, I'm only like five seconds up from my nap. I get back here. She was like, Do you speak Spanish? I was like, Bitch, I can't even speak English right now. Like, oh, that's how tired I was when she woke me up. Like, I know, no. I'm not speaking though. I bet I'm barely speaking English right now. Like I'm definitely not speaking Spanish. So yeah, I'm back here waiting. Nervous. Look stupid. At least it's not cold back here though. Then I went there with the doctor and he was real nice. His name is Dr. Scurlock. Um I would go to him if you're looking for surgery that's gonna be more natural. If you're looking for something that's gonna be drastic, big Asian doll, well, Asian doll for people my size, but you know, just something that's very drastic. I wouldn't recommend him just because that's not. I'm not gonna say that's not what he specializes in, but just from his work that I've seen on his page, it wasn't something that he really did. But, and me, y'all are probably like, oh, you're small, you didn't have a lot of fat. And my mom, I thought I had a lot of fat, but come to find out, 
I really didn't have a lot of fat. He said I had more skin, which I guess from when I had my baby, my stomach stretched out and then it had went small. And but it was like skin, but it's not like drooping skin. But what I thought was fat was skin. So I didn't have as much as I thought. So he put like 400 cc's in my butt. I think it is like 400 cc's in each butt. 350 or 400, which is not a lot. It's really not a lot. And yeah, we'll get to that. But anyway, so he. Whatever, he did my IV. My anesthesiologist, he was doing the IV as I was sitting there. And that's when I started to get nervous. I ain't gonna lie. Because I hadn't been nervous before then. But when he started putting in that ID, IV, I was like, ooh, this is really happening. And then they took me back to the back. And they didn't have me get naked. I kept my uh, little thing on. It had a little opening in the back. But um, I laid on the table. And y'all, it was so cold in this room like like i don't know i was shaking like literally they have you lay on the table like this like and they strap your arms down and they strap my arms down they strap my legs down i was literally laying there and i was like why is it so cold like i could not stop shaking and it wasn't because i was scared and i was like shaking like my eyes were watering and i was like i know these people probably think oh she's scared no i'm not scared I thought I was going to talk to the doctor one last time for my surgery because I was real nervous when he said about the boobs thing. I was like, y'all, like, please do not leave me with no huge boobs. So I had told the little man who was there before it wasn't the doctor because he was going to knock me. It was the anesthesiologist. He was going to knock me out. I was like, dang, I don't get to talk to the doctor. He was like, no. And I was like, okay, well, can you tell him a message? He was like, don't. I was like, don't make my boobs too big. And then I was out. That's all that happened. So I woke up, I remember I was waking up and I was laying there and I was like, I was like shaking my head side to side because I was trying to wake myself up. Pretty much after that, I, I guess they put my robe on because I had my robe on when I left. I remember they put me in a wheelchair. So he's wheeling me out or whatever and we get in the car and again, I have my boots done and my butt done. So I'm like facing the seat because I, I can't sit on my butt. So I'm facing the seat and I'm like this and there's a girl in the back on the bed and I'm like sitting there and I'm laying there and I really wanted to use my phone because I was like, can you pass me my phone? But it was just like, no, my, he was hitting the bumps. I was like, y'all. And then we got back to the house. So is they sat me in my little recline, recliner chair, which was really just a beach chair and it had like a hole for my butt. So I'm just laying there and I remember they didn't have my medicine. So they had like some Tylenol extracts and then like some melatonin things. And I just remember I was laying there and she came over and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to sleep. Like I wasn't in excruciating pain. My, it did feel like a man was sitting on my chest, but I wasn't in like crazy pain. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go to sleep. Here comes one of the workers. She was like, you gotta drink this soup. I was like, okay. Like, I really didn't want to drink the soup. Like she literally put the she put the straw in my mouth. I was like, I tried to drink it all in one sip because I didn't want the soup. Like it's just not really something that that I wanted. Like I wanted to go to sleep. I was in pain. I wasn't in crazy pain, but I wanted to go to sleep. So drank the soup and she was like, okay. Took my medicine. I laid there. I knocked out. That's all I remember. Okay, y'all. I'm back. I know it's been a minute. I could record it earlier, but I was just calling to let everybody know how I'm doing and stuff like that. Okay, let me stop eating the Cheetos so y'all can hear me. But, um, I went into surgery like 11. Um, the IV, it hurt. Like, as it was knocking me out, it was burning. I didn't like that. But, um, I went to sleep. I woke up. I was done. Like, I don't really remember how I was laying. Yeah, I don't remember how I was laying. But I just remember I was, like, waking up, and I kept turning my head. I kept turning my head, and I guess they seen that. But, yeah, so then after that, I rode home from the doctor's place. They, kept, they took me out in a wheelchair. And the ride home, that's probably the worst part because, like, I had to sit in the front seat and I was, like, facing the chair and my butt was... I'm recording. <laughs> you good. And I was, like, recording... Not recording. I was, um, 
like facing the seat that way my butt that way and it was really cold like i they wouldn't mind when they said it'd be cold after surgery so yeah that was probably the worst part but i feel like i got home pretty quick and then once i got here and i got out the car that's really the only time where i was in pain like right now i'm okay like i've been getting up walking around using the bathroom that kind of stuff but when i first got here all i wanted to do was lay down and go to sleep the lady had me drink some soup i did not want that soup i just wanted to go to sleep but i drank the soup and i drank some type of juice i don't know i think maybe it was pineapple juice but i just wasn't in the mood to eat anything i was hungry but i wanted i, I don't know i wanted some real food but um yeah so then i went to sleep till about six o'clock i woke up i felt better I was walking around, you know, doing everything normal. But my chest, that's the only thing that's, like, aching now. Like, I feel like somebody's sitting on it. Like, a man sitting on it. But it's not, like, intolerable or, like, where I'll be crying or anything like that. My butt, it feels good. It's fine, you know. Nothing hurting. I'll be sure to insert, a, like, a, a clip of it because I was able to record in the bathroom. But it is nasty with the blood and all that, so... But, yeah, I've been up for about four hours, maybe, now. I can't remember what time it is. But I've been up for, like, four hours. I'm doing pretty good. I woke up, and I just remember my tongue was hurting real bad. And I guess while I was getting my surgery, I bit my, my tongue. And so I had, like, a like a cut in my tongue. Like, it was, it was pretty big. I had to cut my tongue. I was like, dang, what the heck? So I had answered the phone. And then I just remember, it was like, my baby dad, he was like, are you okay? I was like, yeah. Like, I guess my voice, I know my voice was sounding raspy, kind of like maybe I was crying or something. But I really wasn't crying. Like, I didn't cry at all. Through this whole process, I did not cry at all. But um, I was like, yeah, da 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 So I was like, I'm going to go back to sleep, and then I'll talk to you later. So went back to sleep, probably about 20, 30 more minutes. Woke back up. It was time for us to eat again. So I ate, so they would help me to get up if I needed to use the bathroom. I had to squat to use the bathroom, of course. So that was interesting, but it wasn't hard. Um, yeah. So then the next day I woke up, um, I felt better. I, again, I didn't feel bad the first day, but I felt a lot better. So I was just like, you know, I was doing stuff on my own walking i was walking around yeah and i just know the girls they were in the house they were like oh my god you know you okay i was like yeah I'm like i'm okay like i'm fine i have a high pain tolerance i must say so like it really wasn't it really wasn't bad for me i'm gonna just insert clips because i can't really hit on each part when it happened but i tried to record see the body but I'll show y'all when I do my massage possibly when I post up I don't know but
Okay, so I just finished my massage, my first one. It wasn't bad. Um, it wasn't bad. Um, it's really just my chest that freaking hurts. Like, that's really it. And then I'm like, I don't want to stand up the whole time and wait to get picked up. So I came in on the stairs. That's why I'm like this. But um, yeah, definitely wasn't bad. But um, let me think. It wasn't, I don't know. Like, she didn't really, she massaged, but she really told me more what to do than massage. So, that was that. Maybe the next time I come back, she'll, like, you know, make it hurt. But this time she was kind of just, you know, just rubbing. I think maybe because I'm just one day post stop. But yeah, um, I got this in my body. Uh, it looks good. really uncomfortable like this like for my knees and for my chest to be hanging like this it hurts but not in pain it just is very uncomfortable on my chest I'm kind of in pain with that I ain't gonna lie but my butt I'm fine I'm fine let me try and show y'all I don't have on my thigh no more but oh. Okay. Alright, so it is now day two. I'm boarded up. Still got the same Cheetos from yesterday. But yeah. Um, let me think. I took my first shower last night. That was good. Um, and I took another one this morning. I didn't get a massage today because um, the like the place I go to is closed on Sundays, so didn't get a massage, but the lady showed me how to do one on myself, so I did that, and then I really just been sleeping all day. Um, I took my first like, like big girl drug. I took some oxy, but it didn't really, you know, made me sleepy, but. Um, other than that, I kind of feel the same. My teeth are still like really big. They fucking hurt. Um, so that's not cool. But other than that, yeah, I just been chilling. Still in the same chair, cause you know can't go nowhere else. I just sleep like this, or yeah. All right, you guys. Y'all see me with the diaper on? Um, I got the poor, the board in my back, so it's like I can't stand up straight. Like I look stupid. Ugh. I'm about to have her take it out because I'm about to go to sleep. Well, I just woke up actually, but I'm gonna go to sleep soon, and I do not want this hard ass board in my back. So, yeah, y'all. Y'all can't see the body, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I got a lot of foams in, so you really can't see no kind of shape. Like, yeah, that's all foam. Then my titties, they're still hard. Still hard. Patiently waiting. I mean, I know they're not probably going to be soft anytime soon, but, you know, hoping on it. But, um, oh, hold on. I will show you my butt. But it has blood on it, so I'm warning you now. If you like, oh, let me adjust just everything before I just put the booty on the camera. Okay. Oh, if you a squeamish, you got a bad stomach, you know, don't watch. But oh, I can't even show y'all. But that's how the butt look. It's bleeding, not as much, not bad though. Day two, so I mean, you know, that's kind of expected. 
stress the fuck out because yeah i'm i just ate dinner i'm outside i finally did my hair today y'all yeah just and everything my ponytail looked weird because my bun at the top it wasn't straightened like my hair in the back so it looked weird but at least i look better than how i've been looking so i'm out here i got my pillow and my diaper on so excuse that but well i was holding the pillow until my legs because it's on my neck but it's hot hot as hell out here but um yeah the massage lady told me she really doesn't feel like i need any more massages she was like what i need now to do like i can have a family member do for me i don't really need to pay somebody to do so that's good because save me some money 
And yeah, I'm not in pain at all. I can get up. I can, I did my own hair. I did everything. Like but some girls are still walking around here, like hurting. And they just got a video. But I'm fine, like honestly, I'm fine. I'm ready to go back. I was ready to go back yesterday. I really could have had one less day, but whatever. I'd already booked it, so. Yes, I'm just ready to go back home to my child. Into my, well, I don't even know if I'm ready to go to my bed because can't sleep in it. Well, not properly, but yeah, y'all. The next time y'all will see me. Oh, I just, I just smacked my butt. What the fuck? It didn't hurt that bad, though. It didn't hurt that bad. But next time y'all see me, I will be on the way either in the airport or just got off the plane or on the way to the airport. I don't really know. It just depends when I feel like it. I packed my bags up today. I got out real nice, cute, put it a spray on just to get back in the chair. But it just felt good to do something for myself, you know, do my hair, whatever. So my arm is getting tired. So got to hold the camera like this now. But um, I can honestly say that this has not been a bad experience at all for me. You know, everybody's body is different in how they handle pain and how their body reacts to stuff. But I feel like if you want to get it, get it. Especially if it's something that you want, not if you're doing it for somebody else because at the end of the day, you gotta live with your body. And if somebody makes you feel like, you know, you need to get something done, that's not a reason to get it. Get it because you want it. And it's gonna make you a bad bitch and it's gonna make because at the end of the day i was a bad bitch before i had the body done but i'm an even better bitch now so yeah um dear god my arm hurts put on some leggings today y'all it was looking nice it was looking real nice it was looking real nice um my waist is just gonna get smaller by the day she told me to start wearing my boards to sleep which I don't know if I can do because that really hurts. But I'm going to try. I got them on right now. It just really makes my, my back burn. And my butt, the top of my butt, like, like back there, it really makes it burn. Um, when I get up out of my seat. Because, you know, I'm constantly in my seat. But, um, yeah, to get the flat stomach, I'll do it. Waist was looking snatched after she did my massage. So, that's what we're hoping for we're gonna keep it like that and probably not gonna go to the gym and be honest that's probably not gonna be something I do to maintain the body but yeah um like I said if you want this you should get it I'll do another video this isn't the end I don't think but I'll do another video telling you guys about like where I went the price and I'll do like a Q&A on my Instagram. So y'all can ask me questions and I'll do another video. Like answering, telling cars. Because a lot of people on my Snapchat, because that's really where I've been posting it, have been asking. So I'll do a whole video dedicated to this. Probably do like a month post-op, two months post-op, three months, all that. So y'all can really see what it's like. But so far, I can honestly say it's been a good experience very tolerable experience i have a high pain tolerance the wind's really blowing right now but yeah so if this is my last clip which i'm not sure if it will be hope you guys enjoyed and yeah i will be back to definitely show you guys the way the body turns out in the end so yeah okay so yeah now y'all seen my little process of everything by the last day y'all no by like my second day post-op i was twerking like y'all i was good like really this experience for me i can honestly say it was not bad at all like it wasn't like i could do it again if i if um you know if i needed to it wasn't a horror story. It wasn't nothing where I'm like, oh, I wouldn't do it again. No, it wasn't bad. And a lot of the older the women, a lot of the older women, they were kind of going through it more. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why. But I expected to be in more pain than I was. And I would definitely, like, I would say, like, 
if you want to get your body done get your body done fuck what anybody else got to say how anybody else gonna feel do what you want to do because at the end of the day it's your body it's nobody else's and can't anybody else tell you what to do or judge you or make you feel bad because you're doing something that you want to do and that's what i did and at the end of the day you know i i live for me i don't live for nobody else i don't care what nobody else got to say ain't nobody else paying my bills ain't nobody else paying for my surgery so mind the business that pays you that's all i have to say so um i hope i missed no points um cost i will do a video on supplies maybe or when i do my one month update because it has definitely been a month maybe i'll do a two month update i don't really know but in my one month update i will do a supplies list of what i feel like you need for your surgery and anything that i feel like i missed in this video i will put in there um so that's those two things um only thing with where i stayed that i could say i did my massages at the place where i got my surgery so i didn't realize that it would be smarter to get the in-house massages which were a hundred dollars i had did a package deal with my surgery place and it was like four hundred dollars and I got five massages, so I was like, okay, I'm getting basically like I'm saving a hundred dollars. So, but it ended up biting me in the butt because I had to pay forty dollars to go to the doctor. So for like, you know, basically I didn't, I didn't gain anything. I would definitely recommend you get your massages where you're staying, unless that, unless they include transportation to your massages if they're at the facility in your package if not then leaving was fine um one of my flights actually got delayed so i had to stay in the airport a little bit longer but it wasn't bad i had my bbl pillow and um so yeah i hope that i cleared any confusion up i will be like i said i will be sure to do another video updating y'all and actually showing y'all my body because right now all y'all can see is my boobs but that'll be another video where i do an update and show y'all my results yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you hit that like comment and subscribe button and follow me on all my social medias most of them most of them my name is the same so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video see you guys in the next one bye